How's it going there, America? How you doing? Is another cat talk with me, dummy Chuck the Dummy O. So, uh, in this video, we are going to be talking about how to absolutely, absolutely shit on sons of bitches on the goddamn Xbox or well, shit on them verbally. We're going to learn how to shit on toxic people on Xbox. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. I got a couple tips and tricks up my sleeve. Now, later on in the video, I'm not telling you right this second. We're going in order. We're going to go do this correct. You might want to take notes. You're going to need a pad, pad of paper and a pen. And you're going to want to write down some of these goddamn suggestions I got right here. The reason why you're going to want to write them down is because you probably never heard them before. That's right. I come up with my own material. I don't just say, hey, virgin, or hey, you're living with your mommy. I got better stuff than that. I got stuff that'll blow your goddamn mind. You never even heard it before, I'll tell you that. But before that starts, I need a goddamn cigarette. What, you want me to light you up a smoke? Hell yeah, motherfucker, light me up a goddamn grip. All right, I got you. I got you, Chuck. There you go, buddy. Oh, he can't. He can't open his mouth. Can he? Can he smoke it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's a little better now. I'm gonna puff puff on this son of a bitch while I tell you the goddamn shit, eh? Right? You guys, you guys okay with that? You guys don't, you don't like it? You don't like me with the cigarette? I love it. Goddamn, I'm ashing all over myself. Jesus Christ. What the hell's going on here, America? I can't talk. I can't talk like this. You can't, you can't do me like this, dummy. Why not? You want to smoke? Yeah, but I can't, I can't move my lips. Oh, wait, you move my lips, but if you move my lips, my hands don't work. I got nubs. See my hands? I got, I'm, I'm tensed up. I'm tensed up all the time. That's why I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to duke them. I'm ready to duke them out. I'm ready to give them a little one, one, two punch here. That's right. All right, I'll take the cigarette. All right, calm down. Relax. Putting this shit out, though. Fucking, these things are cost a fortune. You know that? Yeah, and I appreciate you buying them for me. That's right. All right, so we're going to get to the cod chuck here now. All right, how to absolutely... I got notes. See the notes? So I'm reading off the notes, okay? How to absolutely shit on toxic people verbally on Call of Duty. You have to... Step one here, this is a real important step, okay? This is a real important step. You guys got to write this down unless you can remember... I can't remember shit, so that's why I write everything down. That's right. <laughs> Step one. You have to say something that's true. If it ain't true, it won't hurt their feelings. See? You got to say something that's true. That way you know it hurts their little feelings over there. Their little feelings. All right. Now that's step one. Now you should remember that one. That's pretty easy. Like, you know, step one, hurt their feet. You got to say something that's true. Okay. Now to say something that's true, you got to know a little bit about the fucking victim. <laughs> Wait, we're not calling them victims. These are toxic people. They're assholes to us first. That's right. These are, we're talking about people that are total assholes to you first. And then you just say, Hey, how old are you? And they say, for the for the reasons of this video, we are going to say between most people that are toxic, you're between the ages of 12 and 20, 22, okay? Like a 10-year span there. All right, so step one, say something that's true. Now, how do you say something that's true? You got to know a little bit about the toxic person. So step two is you have to know what the age is. Toxic, you got to know what the age is of the toxic asshole. That's what you got to know. So let's say for the arguments of this video that the fucking guy is between 12 and 22, like I said. All right, step four, you could use virgin. See, now, now we're just jumping right in. Step one, no, you got to say something that's true. Step two, you got to know something about the toxic person, the age. That's what you got to know about them the most. 
case. And then, you know, at their age, well, they're 12, they're probably a virgin. You could say that all day, that's right. But it gets a little old. And I got my own shit. Now, here's the video part that you were going to want to get your pen of paper and your goddamn fucking pen of paper. Pen of paper? Pen of paper? Pen. It's a pen. And then paper. Grab your pad of paper and your pen. All right. Number one. One of the greatest lines I've ever come up with in my entire life is the old pH ratio. That's right. The old pH. And if you haven't seen my other video about the pH ratios, pH ratio means pussy to hand ratio. That's right. Pussy to hand. What that means is, in my other video, it's pretty funny because I lost my own sense of what the hell I was talking about. But what pushy to hand ratio means, how many times you have gotten your dick inside some pushy rather than your dick, your hand wrapped around your dick? How many times has your dick got, went inside a vagina compared, or a mouth or another girl's hand? Any three will count. How many times have you gotten a blowjob, uh, regular vag 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 vagina, vaginal six, Intercourse, we'll call it intercourse. Okay, you've had inter. Okay, this is. Oh, I'm losing it. All right, all right. So, what what were we talking about here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Stick with me. All right, pH ratio. How many times has your penis, when it intercourse inside of a vagina? Or butthole count two. Okay, we'll count the old butthole there. Okay, so. How many times your penis went shine a vagina, a butthole, a girl's mouth? I guess a guy's mouth will count too if you swing like that. We count that, all right? And uh, somebody else's hand, like they're giving you a jerk jerk off, okay? Okay, so. And then the other ratio is how many times has you been jerking off with your hand there? So the pushy, pushy to hand ratio, how many times is your hand or your. <laughs> see, here, I'm losing it. How many times is your. Penis been inside something that ain't yours, pretty much. All right, that's where we go with it. How many times has your penis ejaculated? How many times has your penis ejaculated sperm out of the tip? <laughs> I'm sorry. How many times has your penis ejaculated sperm out of the tip and gotten stimulation? Because somebody else was stimulating you and not you stimulating yourself. And that's what the hand ratio is. Like how many times have you wrapped your hand around your little picker and uh, tugged on that son bitch? All right. So that's a negative pH ratio. Now I'll tell you right now, 12 year olds to 20 year olds, you are negative. You're negative. You're negative until you get married. And then you have, because even when you're dating in your 20s. <sighs> Because even when you're dating in your 20s, what happens is, you know, you, you're you're getting laid like two, three, four times a week and stuff, and you're jerking off when you ain't seen your girl. Now, even when you're married, you're jerking off a little bit, but hopefully you're getting laid like two, three times a day like I am. And then that way, you don't have to jerk off. So finally, I got into positive a couple years ago, but you don't reach a positive till you're probably like, if you get married at 25, by 30, 33, if you get laid twice a day and you don't jerk off at all, you, you finally hit the positive about 33 years old. That's right. So the negative pH ratio counts for everybody. I mean, it, it's, it, it covers all age groups or age groups. They're not groups, retard. Yeah. All right. So uh, it, it covers all ages. Okay. So negative pH ratio, write that down, negative pH ratio. All right. Number two is. How's Pornhub? I mean, that's just a quick one. Like, hey, because like, if you do the negative pH ratio, you got to explain it out a little bit and all that. The Pornhub, you just go, how's Pornhub? You just hit them with the Pornhub. <clears throat> I'm reading. What do you do? You hit them with, how's Pornhub? What do you do to clean up your belly? Do you use Kleenex, paper towel, toilet paper, or a cum rag? Does your mama... Boy, listen to me. Does your mama wash your cum rag? I hope she doesn't. For Jesus Christ, do you are you jerk having fun jerking off in the bed that's in the bedroom of that your parents provide for you? Do they pay your goddamn cell phone bill too? Do they, are they paying for you to jerk off? Is that what's going on here? Do you even have a job? All right, next one. Boom. 
Huge one, fatness, this one's awesome. You sound, number four, whatever we're on, you sound like you make minimum wage. That's right. You sound like you make minimum wage. I mean, I can smell under 10 bucks an hour from here. You know how I smell it? I smell it because I smell a fryer. I, sh- I smell grease. When you walk by me uh, at, a, at a store and, I do, and you're just in regular clothes, you smell like you just got done off the line of McDonald's at the fry station. Like you smell like grease. Or it could be maybe under $12, $13 an hour. You smell like mechanic grease. Like you, you smell like a warehouse. You know, do you ever, you ever smell somebody that works at a fast food restaurant? They fucking smell like a fryer, man. They do. And if you don't know that, I'm sorry. Get out of your goddamn house. (laughs) Then you can hit them with the old nice gamer pick because usually they don't have one. And then you say, oh, it's a great gamer pick. You're so attractive. You're so hot. You think you're so not good looking that you don't want to put a gamer pick up so people rip on you on Xbox. And they usually got some sort of monkey smoking on a banana or something like that. I don't know what the hell's going on here, America. <laughs> right. Then y'all always hit them with the, how's mommy? How's mommy? How's mom? How's mama? Huh? How's the papa? what they make you for dinner? It's like, it depends on how old they are. If they're like 12 or 13, oh, I hit them with that too. If they're like older, then I hit them with the negative pH. And then if they're like 18, they're, you know, they're probably making them minimum wage just because they're based on their, you know, age. I'm not saying they're dumb or something. I'm just saying, you know, so like you're going to be an asshole of me and say, oh, go get a job. I got a job, motherfucker. Shit, I got a job and I play Xbox. Now, you probably play 10 different video games. I play one. I'm not a video game nerd. I don't play 20 different games. I play one game. I play Call of Duty. I bowl in a bowling league. I golf in a golf league. And I play and I play Call of Duty when I'm at home. And I watch movies and I bang my wife. So why don't you just leave me the fuck alone, motherfucker? And just get the hell getting on, getting on. I'm t- sick and tired of hearing all the bullshit. I hit him with a negative pH every time. That's right. <laughs> negative pH. <laughs> Ooh, Kleenex, huh? How you wiping up that belly, boy? Because you know they're wiping up the belly. You know they're wiping up the belly. You know they're wiping up the belly. All right, so this is a this is a COD talk on how to shit on toxic nerds. I hope you guys wrote those goddamn suggestions down right there and spread this video around. Let's get this thing viral. All right, COD talk. Chuck the dummy. I'm out. Peace out, motherfucking bitches. That's right. Ribbit motherfucker. Ribbit